that's the garage there. And then uh, there's a, a pretty large kitchen and a great room area uh, on this side of the house. From the upstairs, there's a balcony and you can actually look onto the field and whatnot. Uh, they built this house uh, from the ground up in 1967. And so uh, I lived in it for, uh, well, my whole life. Both my parents, particularly my mother, were very devout to the Catholic faith and uh, uh, from day one had a strong bond with uh, the Jesuit priests and the, and the school um, over the years and uh, would frequently have gatherings. I think she had kind of a dream that uh, she could leave the house to the Jesuits and they could use it as a uh, residence, I believe was her first uh, choice. Um, and if that wasn't going to be possible, they could use it in some fashion as uh, perhaps a, a fundraising house uh, to have uh, get-togethers at and whatnot. I, I think it was maybe less than 30 days after getting it, it was brought to market. So that was a little, a little shocking for everybody. I, I really think that you know they're, they're looking at this as an asset they can't use and from a business standpoint as opposed to the emotional connection that the family has with it. Specifically my mom who uh, was very emotionally connected to it and would only want it utilized how she wanted. Uh, until this happened it's, 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 everything's been wonderful, great institution. I went there, my kids went there, uh, etc. Uh, th this particular misstep to me was a misstep and an overreach by the, by the uh, development uh, department there and uh, they seemed to be digging a bigger hole to me, I don't know, I don't know why.